What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're not going to be talking about Cursor, we're actually going to be looking at some of the competitors that are rising up. Yes, that's right, there's a lot of new AI IDEs out there, and this one is called Void. Void IDE, we're going to dive into it and show you how you can get started, let's get right in. All right, guys, so for those of you who are new to the channel or maybe you didn't see some of my recent videos, well, I actually just did a video on Pair AI, and this is an open source AI powered code editor. It's an alternative to Cursor, and it is getting some a few new updates I've heard that should be coming out recently or very soon that should be pretty cool. Um, so we'll see if they can catch up to Cursor. Cursor right now just got a really crazy update. I did a video yesterday. Check that out down below. Link will be in the description about the new cursor composer uh, updates as well as notepads and whatnot as well as super maven if you're not familiar with super maven they just raised 12 mil to build a text editor ide all right so all these different extensions are seeming to you know starting to switch over to the whole ide approach we've seen that it went worked so well with cursor and there's also kind of i guess maybe a new kid on the block and not super new but i guess new uh, to some degree um i mean they're new enough where there's not even you can't even download it you have to get on their wait list to get access or you have to actually build it yourself compile the code which we'll go over uh, a little bit of that today um and this is called void right so right now there's a wait list this is the website link will be down below um you can join the wait list if you want but i'm going to show you how you can actually build out the extension so Void is an open source cursor alternative, write code with the best AI tools, retain full control over your data and access powerful AI features. All right. So I'm a huge cursor fan right now. I believe it's definitely the best bar none in terms of AI coding. A lot of other cool tools too. Claude Dev got an update. I'll do a video on that too this week. Um, a lot of other ones, you know, all these other AI code IDEs are pretty cool. ZAI. Um, but some of the benefits, of course, with like an open source IDE, like we're seeing maybe with Pear, like we're seeing with Void, is like it says up here, you can have that retained control of your data and you can typically use it with lots of times more models, local models, um, and all that good stuff. So AI features you love, so tab to autocomplete, edit, selection in line, and control L to ask questions and include files. Control K to edit selection in line and then tap. And then this is powered by VS Code. So a, another VS Code fork, just like Cursor, just like Pair AI. Seems like everyone is forking VS Code and putting AI features in it. And uh, so we got some community features. Uh, anyone can advance our roadmap, blah, 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 blah. So index your files, intelligent search with AI fine-tuned generation, doc strings, view and edit underlying prompts, and then experimental features, fast apply, even on a thousand line files, contextual awareness, third-party integration. So we see Olama, uh, Greptile, and doc search, and then many more coming soon. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. You can host it locally or it can go direct with the LLMs. And here is the there's a discord as well as a github which is right here so all this will be linked down below now pretty much right now the only way you can actually use it is by going to their contributing section right here so it's really meant to be if you're like contributing to the open source but you know we can go ahead and build it to test it out a little bit um so there's really two parts to this there's one which is building out the extension so i'm going to go over that right now and then there's also building the full IDE, okay? So either both of these, I'm not going to lie, at least maybe it's just me, but it some of it's it's not the it can be a little bit difficult or tricky, especially the first time to, you know, follow this these instructions or at least do it properly. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I personally didn't see any other videos on YouTube or anywhere really talking about this. So um yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out and yeah, we're going to go over the extension right now. So, so first things first, you're going to want to git clone the repo, of course. So if we go here to our terminal, you can just go to whatever, you know, location you want. Oops. 
Okay, so I already have this clone, so I'm not going to do it, but you're going to get clone it. Once you do that, you're, of course, going to CD into your uh, repo there. Okay, so now I'm CD'd into that repo. I'm just LS right here. You can see all the different files. And in order to do the extensions, what we're going to do is open this folder right here. So extensions and then forward slash void. And then we're going to open that into VS Code. So I'm going to CD into extensions and then CD into void. And then I'm just going to do code dot or I could have done cursor dot. Okay, so this is going to pull up the void extension um, directory right here. So what we're going to do is open up the terminal, which I already have opened. And then you're going to run npm install to install the dependencies. All right, guys, and I also made a full SOP document that I'll give you the link to down below. Um, so you can access this as well. It can help. It has a little bit more detail for certain things. So if you get stuck, just reference this document. It will be down linked below for free. So we're right here. So we're npming installing to install the dependencies. Once that's done, we're going to npm uh, npm run build. Okay, so now we got these dependencies installed. Now we're going to npm run build. Okay, once we do that and that's built, then we're going to press F5 if you're in VS Code. If that doesn't work, you can do Control Shift P and uh, or Command Shift P on Mac, and then type in debug and start debugging, and then click Enter. So since I'm in VS Code, I'm just going to click F5, and that should run the void extension. As you can see, it's building right here. Okay, now we can see waiting for pre-launch task, and boom, it's going to open up another VS Code. So this is the one we got right here. And once we do that, you're going to want to set up your AI features. So you can press control plus on windows or command plus, uh, uh, plus this right here, this little comma, um, to open the settings. And then in the search bar type void, it's going to locate the void extension and you're going to see the different API keys such as Anthropic, OpenAI, different ones that you can input. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're in settings here. We're going to search for void. Okay, so once we search for void, we can see Anthropic API, uh, Greptile, Olama settings. These are coming soon. And then OpenAI API key. So you can paste in your API keys here. Once you do that, you should have it um, on your left side here. Like it will say like chat. I pulled it over here so we can see chat right here. So this is similar to if you've seen things like continue dev or pretty much any chat. AI tool that we've covered or just in general, GitHub Copilot, Claude Dev, you're going to see that right here. So we just have some basic code right here. Um, what I can do is click control L. This is going to like reference the file in the chat. So it's kind of like context. So we included this. I could go here to my manifest uh, JSON control L. And then I could just say, tell me about these files. And now we're getting our explanation about what they're doing. And this is correct. All right, so you can go ahead and use the extension, test it out. Now, for those of you who want to build the IDE, I'm going to let you know this one is a little bit more tricky. I, even for me, I've been struggling with it these last few hours. And um, I was creating a guide for it right here, but I actually am stuck. So... Um, didn't make a lot of progress. I'll still leave this section in the guide, even though it is incomplete. It, I'll leave it in here for you guys. So if anyone troubleshoots it, figures it out, maybe you could let us know in the comments down below, help some people out. But for those of you who really want to see the IDE and want me to do, make a separate video um, showing you exactly how to get the IDE set up, let me know in the comments down below. I will quickly mention a few things that I tried and kind of where I'm seeing some issues. So... Building the IDE, basically, if you're doing it, like for example, if I go to the Discord right here, I see the founder of this tool. He's mentioning if you're running it on Windows, you're going to want to uh, build it in a uh, dev container, right? So if you don't know about that, basically install dev containers right here on VS Code and remote development. 
and then when you open up void it uh, should prompt you to um, basically use a dev container if not you can do Control shift p and type in dev containers then click start new dev containers you're gonna need docker installed for that um, so yeah either that's one method he's saying is the dev container method basically everything's containerized so it should have less issues with you know how your system could be set up um, but if you're gonna do it with like on your system you're either way I think you're gonna need Visual Studio downloads you may need to modify it um, build tools to include certain uh, things in it I have some screenshots here showing you um, and yeah, you can just read some of this if you want to go ahead and try to actually build out the IDE for yourself. I don't want to fully walk through this because, like I said, I, I'm personally encountering issues right now. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I will definitely troubleshoot this and try to figure it out in the next few days. And if I do, and you guys want me to make a video just showing you guys how to do that, let me know. Or if any one of you guys actually figures out how to do the IDE side of things, let me know. At the end of the day, I think this is a really cool tool to keep an eye out for. Either way, once we actually built, like once we say if we did build the IDE, I think it's really not at that stage yet where you would want to be using it over cursor, even with a fully built IDE, because like Pair AI is still fairly new and at least they give you a download. But, you know, Void is so new that there's a wait list and the only way you can even run the IDE is with actually building it yourself. So I think it's definitely, I mean, it is way too new to, to ha say either one of these actually replace cursor. Um, but it is something to be on the lookout for. You know, we're seeing a lot of these IDEs, VS code forks, continue dev forks, whatever the case may be, spawn up or, you know, come, come, uh, you know, being built. So some of them are open source and I mean, a lot of them are, that's kind of their differentiator between cursor. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what who wins this race, this war. And then we see, like I mentioned, um, you know, Super Maven, who's an established uh, extension, Chrome extension, or a VS Code extension. Now they raised 12 mil, and now they're building an IDE. We have Zed IDE. Let me know in the comments down below, what's your favorite IDE? I mean, is it Cursor, or do you think that someone is going to take the throne of Cursor? Do you think, are you are you going to bet on one of these IDEs, or... Maybe do you think someone should come up with some other idea that's a little bit different than how all these companies are doing it? Um, let me know in the comments down below, guys. If you're new to the channel, we upload videos every single day on AI, automation, AI coding, business growth, etc. So if you want to stay on the loop on everything I'm learning on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as different AI companies or AI news or whatever the case may be, in terms of building your business, learning about AI and technology, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for the recent 6,000 subscribers. We're getting closer to 7,000. So um, appreciate all the recent support. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below about all this, guys. Do you think Void AI IDE has some potential? Right now, it's still super early. Like we literally have to build it ourselves but i did still want to share this with you because i haven't seen anyone talking about it um at least on youtube so uh, i if you guys do want me to actually um, make sure i troubleshoot this and figure out how to build the ide and then give you guys a really in-depth guide on how to do that with a standard sop like document let me know in the comments down below and i'll make sure that i get that that done for you guys and updated and I'll make a separate video on that. But other than that, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, accelerate your stride. Take care.